a very good morning students welcome to this online class so today we are going to study class 9 social science history and as you can see this is the cover page of the book and the name of the book is india and the contemporary world part 1 this is the content of the book you can see dear children the whole book is divided into three sections and now we are going to start with the first section so what is the first section the first section is about events and processes second section is about livelihood economies and societies and third section is about everyday life culture and politics so now we are going to start in first section this first chapter the french revolution so dear students let us begin with the chapter okay so i hope so dear students you all have got the book if you have not got the book then you can download the book from the e pathshala app of ncert so dear student this is the first chapter the french revolution so dear students in this class you are going to study about the world history till class 8 you have studied about the history of india and the indian national movement but now you are going to study about the world history so with the world history starts with the famous french revolution which occurred in 1789 so let us start this class with the chapter 1 called the french revolution so dear students you must be knowing that one big revolution came in france and that which particular date it came it came in on morning okay clearly on 14th of july 1789 in paris you might be knowing dear student that paris is the capital of france and in this particular revolution around 7000 men and women they gathered okay outside one building and the name of that building you can see this is the building and the name of this building is bastille what it is called bastille so in this bastille building most of the people have gathered why they gathered they were the common people of france and they gathered outside this particular bastille bastille is actually a fort fort you know kila okay so bastille is basically a fort and in this fort okay many people were imprisoned many people were put in jail okay clear so this particular prison is a symbol of despotic tendency of the king there was one king earlier you might be knowing okay the whole of this place was ruled by the whole france was ruled by one king his name was louis 16th what was his name louis 16th was his name so he was so despotic means he was so arrogant ruler that he used to okay lock the people in the prison so this prison is a symbol of despotic tendency despotic tendency means he was very cruel ruler he did not care about his people he only care about himself okay so he was very much cruel so people protested outside you can see the in photo people all the people were gathered and they were putting stones and doing bombings inside the prison okay clear and what the people this did this people of 7000 they freed all the imprisoned okay imprisoners from this bastille and they destroyed the whole bastille fort and they kept each and every bricks of this fort with them as a remembrance that this is a time when finally france is going to get freedom from this king who is very very much arrogant and lazy who is doing nothing now the question comes dear children that why these people were protesting what is the problem with this people why they were against the king so you should know dear children in 1774 there was one king his name was louis 16 he was from bourbon family he was so bad person he was so lazy that he used to do nothing for the people instead of that what he used to do he used to collect the taxes from the people from the common people who are very much poor at the same time he brought the whole france into debt debt means scourge he did a lot of war he even helped america okay to fight with britain and because of that okay it came in lot of debt debt means scourge okay and all the debt he collected from the people and he was charging 10% loans okay interest for lenders so those who are taking loan he is charging 10% interest rate in the loan second thing is that okay clear so he was charging from whom not from everyone let us talk about the division of french society first dear children in this particular photo you will be able to see this is a division of french society the french society was divided into estates what are estates category are called estates so the first estate is called clergy second estate nobility third estate big businessman 
peasants and small peasants and landless laborer so dear children this two important class called clergy first estate clergy and nobility these are the people who enjoy maximum rights they do not pay any tax and all the privileges all the facilities all the amenities they used to enjoy and this third estate they were the very common middle class people they do not enjoy any privileges they were treated like poor people but they only will have to pay the tax they only will have to pay the tax okay they were not given any benefit and then also they were they have to pay the tax so because of that this third estate people got angry and they destroyed they they took a revolt they made a revolution against clergy and against nobility understood so this is what the division and second important thing was okay you might be knowing dear children in france the basic food which they were eating was bread what they were eating bread the price of the bread was increasing like anything okay that okay that makes the people angry second thing the government has also increased the taxes and this system it shows that the french society in the french society peasants were 90% living there and this clergy clergy people who are called clergy clergy you might be knowing dear children who are priest of church so clergy means those who are priest of church jo church ke pujari hain they were called clergy nobility means raja maharaja those who are king they were also enjoying lot of rights okay and they do not have to pay any taxes and this third people third estate people were very poor they do not enjoy anything and then also they have to pay the taxes so this this particular class got angry on this first two estates estate 1 and estate 2 they got angry on both this estate okay and they thought that they should take a okay particularly revenge from them okay understood so this was a problem which was there and second thing earlier dear children the church was not the center of worshiping it was a center of earning money in the name of god this priest catholic priest they used to earn a lot of money so earlier church also used to take tax and the tax paid you know paid by the people to the church is was known as tithes what it is known as tithes and even the state also used to charge the tax it is known as tile what it is known as tile like that okay so this was the problem you see the photo dear children this photo shows everything he he is a king and he is a poor person this king is just sitting like okay some businessman and he's sitting like a comfortable like a royal person and this poor fellow is coming with his grain with his animal and he's giving all the things to this okay king okay so this was the condition that the king is doing nothing simply sitting and he is getting all the things from this poor fellow okay that was a system so dear children you might be knowing that in france in 1715 the population rose okay from 23 million to 28 million in 1789 because of that the price of the bread so demand if the population will increase obviously the demand for food will also increase so because of that there was a crisis which came there what came crisis and that crisis is known as subsistence crisis okay that came okay where they cannot even fulfill the basic requirement so because of that what happened no privileges privileges means facility now finally this middle class decided that no facility should be given to any king or any priest of the church all are equal so what they did they finally they decided that they have to take a revolution they have to protest against all these things okay so finally this middle class people they came forward and they protested against all the facilities given to the king and the priest of the church okay and in the 18th century it witnessed the emergence of a social group what it witnessed emergence of a social group okay and finally what happened okay this people middle class they became very educated and finally there was a great writer also came during that time in france his name was John Locke and Jean Jacques Rousseau they wrote one important book regarding governance and that is called as two treaties of government there what did they find they defined that the spirit of the laws okay he write that all are equal no king no any kind of you know priest all are equal okay and the same thing the same law was followed by 
the same philosophy was followed by us according to rousseau he warned that the government should be divided into three system how many system three first is called legislative second is executive third one is judiciary okay legislative will make law executive will implement the law and judiciary will give people justice so these are the three things which okay rousseau suggested and that is afterwards followed by united states of america okay clear so the ideas of these philosopher were discussed in the newspaper and the news that Louis XVI planned to impose more tax, and this 16, Louis XVI was the king of France. He imposed more and more tax, and that makes the people angry like anything. And finally came the revolution when people got angry about King uh, King Louis XVI. So finally, what happened? Okay, earlier, dear children, if you know about that, that France was earlier known as constitutional monarchy. What it was known as constitutional monarchy means. This man, Louis XVI, was the main ruler. He was the monarch, means main ruler. Understood? But he has to first take suggestions before taking any tax or increasing any tax. He has to take suggestion from estate general. From whom he has to take suggestions? Estate general. Right. So finally, he called one meeting on 5th of May, 1789. Okay, he called all the estate general. And he said that, okay, clear. I have, I have decided to increase the tax and all. Finally, he thought, and 600 members of third estate also came. So earlier, only those okay member who are belonging to fir first estate, that is clergy, and second estate, that is noble people are are the topmost people who take decisions. Okay, clear. But the third estate people, especially those who are the middle class people, were not given any right to take any decisions. And these peoples were 90 percent people in. France. They are the major people in the France. So if you will not take, if you will not include major people of France, then how the French government will work? 90% 90, 90 people are the basic people. Okay. And finally, and voting right was also different. What was the system of voting right? Only people who are above 25 years of age in France and those who belong to topmost class who, who, who are working actually only can vote. Women's are not allowed to vote and neither the men who do not do any work okay are allowed to vote neither the men who who, be, who belong to below the age of 25 are allowed to vote okay so none of these people are allowed to vote okay clear so finally the representative of the third estate okay they were angry because they were not given voting rights okay clear they were not given voting right even in assembly also they were told to stand in the last they were not given a chance okay clear they were told to stand in the last corner okay so they were not given any opportunity to take decisions okay clear so finally what happened on june 20 they assembled in the hall of the tennis court in versailles and they declared themselves but they made one okay assembly called national assembly who made third estate people made because of angerness okay and finally what happened mirabau okay and there was two leaders okay mirabau and abyss Silas, okay, he was actually born in a noble family, but this man joined the third estate party to become their voice, okay. So, dear children, you see here what happened finally. The National Assembly was busy at the Versailles drafting a constitution, they want to make a new constitution for France. What is a constitution? Constitution is a rule book of any nation, so they want to make a new constitution for France, okay. So, finally, what happened in the countryside when rumors spread in the village that the lords of the manor had hired brigades who were there to destroy the ripe crops caught in a frenzy of fear finally what happened there was one rumor spreaded among the okay france that this particular man okay clear what this uh, ruler of france what he will do he will destroy the crops of the poor people so finally what happened this poor people all they gathered they took their fox and they attacked the chatty ox what is chatty ox chatty ox is the castle or the okay residence or the place where king is living is called chatty ox they attacked the chatty ox they looted the grains they destroyed everything and finally what happened faced with the power of this revolting okay subjects louis 16 finally accorded recognition of the national assembly and finally national assembly was given the power okay clear to be checked on the constitution if any uh, anything is done against the constitution they will check the okay the entire thing okay and finally the feudal this system of division of okay group into estate is called feudal system so this feudal system was also removed okay clear and finally the extra extra money which these people are taking as church tax or tithes tax was also confiscated were taken back by the people okay clear finally the government acquired how much property two billion okay clear livers earlier the entire okay clear currency of france was in livers what it was in liver but now it is changed okay clear and now it is in euro 
सो हियर डियर चिल्ड्रेन यू कैन सी हियर फ्रांस बिकम अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल मोनार्की मोनार्की मीन्स द किंग विल रूल और द किंग विल रन बाय द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द किंग विल फॉलो द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द किंग कैन नॉट डू वॉट एवर ही लाइक्स टू ओके सो फाइनली किंग बिकेम द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन मोनार्की किंग इज हैविंग पावर बट ही हेज टू वर्क अंडर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन सो द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ सेवेंटीन नाइन्टी वन वेस्टेड द पावर टू मेक लॉज इन द नेशनल असेंबली विच वॉज इनडायरेक्टली इलेक्टेड एंड वॉट एज आई सेड ऑलरेडी डियर चिल्ड्रेन हु आर गिवन राइट टू वोट द पीपल हु आर पेइंग टैक्स एंड हु आर अबाव ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स ऑफ एज मैन वर ऑनली अलाउड टू गिव टैक्स नो पीपल स्पेशली वुमेन वर नॉट अलाउड टू गिव एनी टैक्स वुमेन वर नॉट हैविंग एनी राइट ओके क्लियर यू सी हियर दिस चिल्ड्रेन दिस इज द डिक्लेरेशन ऑफ राइट अर्लियर इट वॉज डिक्लेयर दैट ऑल ह्यूमन बींग्स आर हैविंग राइट सो दिस न्यू चेंज केम इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ फ्रांस दैट मैन आर बॉर्न फ्री एंड इक्वल इन राइट्स ओके and the main aim of political association is preservation of natural rights of the people liberty so these are the things which was discussed and finally the constitution became okay begin with a declaration of the rights of man and citizen and rights such as right to life right to freedom right freedom of opinion equality before law was made as a natural right and in india also dear children we are following the same right in our constitution so that all rights it came from it is borrowed from french constitution okay next one you see earlier people of france were not that much educated okay so they do not read and write so some symbols were made to show them that they are free like first symbol what is this broken chain shows broken chain shows that all people of france are free nobody can capture them nobody can capture them all are free all are born free this second one the second one is a uh, faces what this faces shows that you can break a single stick but can you break the bundle of sticks so no you cannot so unity is strength okay this shows that the third one this i shows the knowledge okay if we have the knowledge means your eyes are open okay this captured shows the power of the royal the royalty of the france okay and the snake biting its tail it shows that okay all are okay eternal okay clear there is no beginning and ending okay this red cap what this red cap shows this red cap shows that people of france are free and this blue white and red color lady what it shows it shows the national color of france okay this winged lady it shows the law that law is powerful and nobody is okay above law law is the above things of everyone this is the law tablet it shows that all are equal before law same thing we are following in india okay dear children so this is the one which is actually there okay and it tells us about how this society okay later adapted themselves so dear students this situation of france was still not okay still not okay so finally france okay again abolished the monarchy system and they tried to become a republic what they tried to become a republic system okay clear so finally the monarchy system was abolished in france and they became a monarchy instead of monarchy they become a republic so finally what happened what the king did the king of france louis 16 what he did okay he did a very secret okay treaty and uh, treaty means okay a kind of sandhi sandhi means a kind of relation with that of king of prussia and this austria and prussia wanted to capture france so what they did this particular national assembly national assembly is of what national assembly is of middle class people so this national assembly what they did this national assembly they declared war against prussia and austria and finally what happened they declared a war and that time there was one very famous patriotic song in france that is called marseillaise and that was composed by the famous roger d la isle okay he was the one who composed that so finally the people they were singing loudly marseillaise and they were just marching into the paris okay and finally and so got its name the marseillaise is now the national anthem of france sometime it is asked what is the national anthem of france marseillaise is now the national anthem of france and the revolutionary wars brought losses and economic difficulties to the people and because of that finally they decided to make a political okay what they they wanted to make a party like we are having bjp and congress in our country you know dear children in the similar manner in france also earlier they were not having political party they were not allowed to make political party so they made political 
clubs what they made political clubs and they used to do rallying and all so the first political club was named after one convent convent you know convent is a place which was occupied by religious people so they made one convent and that name was a jacobin club they made one okay club that is known as a jacobin club okay clear so they made a jacobin club and these people in jacobin club were very lower class people those who were making pastry cooks watchmaker printer they are the one who were okay doing this okay entire there were the people who joined this okay and the leader of this jacobin club was max million robin spire who was the leader max million robin spire he was a leader of okay them and this was to set themselves apart from fashionable sections of society okay so dear children you see here this what it is called this is called allegory this lady holding something in in her one hand and holding something else in another this is called allegory what it is called ali gori what is allegory okay symbolic representation of something in through symbol when we are representing something it is called allegory so she is representing what freedom she is representing what freedom that all people of france are free that is the representations okay and this way of proclaiming the end of the power this jacobins came to be known as the sans clotos means those without knee breeches okay they were the one who were fighting with the people especially with the king and finally in summer of 1792 the jacobin plan an insurrection of large number of parisians who were angered by the short supplies and finally what happened elections were held and all men above 21 years regardless of well got the right to vote so finally one change came because of jacobin club okay all people now above 21 years of age whether they are poor rich doesn't matter they can give vote okay clear and finally what happened the newly elected assembly was called convention and on 21st september monarchy was finally removed and now the france became a republic like india is a republic nation dear children you know what is republic nation republic means here the head of the government is chosen by the people and head of the government is not any king no any king okay so that is the thing which came in france also and now finally louis 16th he was a very bad leader he was charged for a treason treason means because he betrayed government okay he was sentenced to death and his queen also his wife also mary antonette was also okay made to death both of them louis 16 were killed along with his wife and now came the region of terror when big terror came and this was the period between 1793 1794 it came in france and the people who don't like republic especially the people who are the enemies of the republic like big people like nobles clergy they were the one who do not like to become republic because their powers will go away if it will become republic so members of the other political parties even members of the some parties what they did they arrested and imprisoned especially what who imprisoned they imprisoned the famous leader robin spire okay who were the one who make okay this secret association called jacobin club and the court sentenced them to guilty and they were glu guillotined what is guillotine they were guillotined guillotine means is a device which is consisting of poles and blade which a person is beheaded kisi ka agar sar ko kaatna hota tha to guillotine machine mein unko rakha jata tha unka sir dhad se kaat diya jata tha itna khatarnak punishment unko diya jata tha that was a punishment given to them robin spire government issued laws placing a maximum ceiling on wages and pre prices even the bread and meat and bread were rationed okay clear <coughs> so meat or bread ko bhi ration kiya jata tha और बहुत ही कम प्राइस में लोगों को दिया जाता था ओके क्लियर एंड फाइनली द यूज ऑफ मोर एक्सपेंसिव वाइट फ्लोर वॉज फॉरबिडन ऑल सिटीजन्स वर रिक्वायर्ड टू ईट द इक्वालिटी ब्रेड और एक बराबर ब्रेड दिया गया सबको ओके क्लियर फिर बाद में क्या हुआ ओके okay, जो ये जो इनको एक रीजन ऑफ टेरर जो हमने बोला वो किसके लिए था रीजन ऑफ टेरर रीजन ऑफ टेरर भी जो अमीर आदमी थे जो नोबल्स थे क्लर्गी इन लोगों को मार डाला गया किसके द्वारा रॉबिन स्पियर के गवर्नमेंट के द्वारा ओके okay? तो रॉबिन स्पियर गवर्नमेंट किल्ड ओके नोबल्स एंड क्लर्गी जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस पीपल हैव लूटेड ओके फ्रांस एंड देवर गुलोटीन ओके क्लियर एंड इट वॉज नेम्ड एज डॉक्टर गुलोटीन मीन्स दोज वर रिच पीपल दे वर पुट टू डेथ उनको रखा रखा जाता था ब्लेड में और ब्लेड में रखकर उनका सिर अलग कर दिया जाता था ओके सो एवरी वन नाउ बिकॉज ऑफ रॉबिन स्पायर गवर्नमेंट एवरी वन इज नाउ गेटिंग इक्वल ब्रेड नाउ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ द पीपल केम ओके फाइनली अंडरस्टूड एंड फाइनली वॉट हैपन ऑल वर गिवन द ट्रेडिशनल टाइटल इक्वालिटी वॉज शॉर्ट टू बी प्रैक्टिस विच फॉर्म इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल मॉनसिनियर सर एंड मैडम ऑल फ्रेंच वुमेन आर हैंड्स फोर सिटीजन एंड वॉट नेम वॉज गिवन टू दैम 
instead of sir and madam they were named as citizen churches were shut down and their buildings were converted into offices all the churches were shut down and buildings were converted into the offices robin spear pursued his policies to relentlessly that even his okay finally began to demand moderation finally he was convicted finally what happened some people were against him and he was sentenced to death on july 1794 because he has killed many people through guillotine method so what is guillotine method killing the people through blades okay their beheading okay sir ko dhad se alag kar dena that is called what guillotine okay clear so that is what the thing which is there then finally a directory rules france okay finally it is there was a fall of jacobin government okay allowed a wealthier middle class to seize power and a new constitution was introduced which denied okay that vote to non proprietary sections of society and one directory was made okay and executive of five members were made and this was meant to safeguard the concentration of power so one person does not have power now now the directors and the group of people are having the powers okay clear so that is what the thing and finally came the political instability of the director paved way again there was no any uh, a proper thing so again the power there was not able to properly form the government so there was a fighting among them so finally one military dictator came in france and his name was the great napoleon bonaparte so he became the emperor of king what he became emperor why he became emperor because there was no pro proper political working in france so finally one military dictator napoleon bonaparte formed his government okay and through all these changes in the government the ideals of freedom equality before the law remained inspiring ideals and finally what happened france and the rest of europe okay during the century they were motivated by the political movements around the around them okay clear so you can see now the problem of women was same dear children the women were still not given the right to vote all the men above 21 years were given right to vote but still women does not have right to given to, to be given vote so from the beginning women were very active and the women were also asking to give them right and what what they were doing they were doing the work of you know sold sold selling plants fruits vegetables basic work they're doing some you know uh, some people only daughters of noble class can study in on study at convent other people cannot study working women had also to look after family so what happened is that that it okay some uh, you know women they started their own club women's club they started and they also asked for to give a proper right and they form a society of republican okay women and all understood dear children so finally women also demanded that we also should be given right to vote okay we also want to hold big offices okay why women should be looked down upon okay so women also struggle for equal political rights okay and finally during the region of terror new government issued law ordering women's club so women were not allowed to form club earlier okay women although the robin spear government was good but it did not give okay again right rights to the women okay so finally what happened women movement for voting right and equal wages even in employment also men were given higher wages and women were given lower wages okay so women movement for voting votes and equal rights continued through the next 200 years in many centuries of the world so it is something which is very sure that in 19th and early 20th century okay the fight for vote was carried out through international okay suffice movement women were fighting for voting right still right was not given to vote for women they think that women are of no use okay Okay, and the work of the women is only limited up to home. It was finally nineteen forty six that women in France won the right to vote. So when did the women in France first won the right to vote? In nineteen forty six. It was so much amount of time. Okay, clear. Now finally you can see here women at a bakery. They were standing in the bakery. Okay, clear, dear children. And the abolition of slavery. Earlier there was a slavery system. You might be knowing that people had to become slaves and they are working under some. king or someone okay their noble class so there was a okay clear slavery so in the colonies of caribbean caribbean basically it is in latin america martinique you san domingo then guadeloupe there were lot of what okay europeans have made the africans and some people slave so finally what happened the slavery system was removed and throughout the 18th century there was a criticism of slavery in france the national assembly they used to do long debates and they said that you might be knowing dear children some negroes okay of africa they were settled in america also negroes were the black people they settled in even in uh, europe also and they were not given any rights okay and napoleon what he did 
when napoleon came he again he made what slave and also that is a bad thing which napoleon did however turned out to be a short term pleasure of 10 years later napoleon again said that slavery should be there although he was a king of france okay and plantation owner understood their freedom as okay including the rights and slave african negroes in pursuit of their economic interest finally slavery was finally abolished in 1848 so who were negroes negroes were the people who actually belonged to africa okay in the south of sahara what is emancipation the act of freeing someone is called emancipation to give them equal right now let us talk about the revolution and everyday life of in the okay people who are living in the france okay so finally you got to understood dear children one important law that came into effect you might be knowing about that okay it came in the effect in which timing basically it came in the effect in the timing of summer of 1789 that censorship was abolished censorship of abolished means now anyone can write any books newspaper earlier government does not allow any book to be written against the government so now anyone can write any books plays newspaper and all are given right okay of a man and citizen freedom of speech are the natural rights given newspaper pamphlet books printed pictures flooded on the town everything happened there even even the play song festive processions uh, attracted large number of people everyone is now given liberty and justice that political philosopher wrote in the text okay you see this photo is of patriotic fat okay reducing press means those who are fatty people those who have okay a lot gained a lot of wealth they were pressed in this okay you can understand it is a funny thing all the fatty people were pressed in this machine okay clear so you can easily see they were pressed so that they should get a punishment those who are fatty those who have gained a lot of wealth so finally dear children let us come to the conclusion in this photo is a marot addressing the people is a painting made by the louis lepaul bolly okay clear so this painting is supposed to be put up in the assembly of the france now okay in conclusion last part in 1804 napoleon bonaparte crowned himself as emperor of france and he set him you know conquering european country he tried to okay conquer he tried to capture other european countries and he was the best person what are the things he did he did a lot of good things like he was the one who introduced decimal system okay in france he was also the liberator of french people liberator means isne france ke logon ko azad kiya unko freedom diya that is called liberator and finally but soon napoleonic armies came to be viewed everywhere as and okay what force invading force napoleon uh, napoleon always tried to capture other areas of europe into france so that's why finally he was defeated in waterloo in 1815 in waterloo war in 1850 he got defeated and many of his okay and many of his people and many of other parts of europe had an impact on people after napoleon okay had left and now the ideas of liberty and democratic rights were the most important thing and that is a legacy of french revolution and finally what happened finally these okay spread the france into like anything and during this time the okay during this particular movement 19th century where feudal systems were active these were all abolished feudal systems were abolished and finally the idea of okay democracy in the freedom was given more importance and same tipu sultan and ram raja ram mohan roy are the two examples who actually responded to the ideas from revolutionary france so you might be knowing last year of study dear children raja ram mohan roy was the famous social reformer so he got idea from french revolution only from where he got idea french revolution okay so first let us discuss the question answers describe the circumstances leading to the outbreak of revolutionary protest you already studied dear children that the price of the bread was increasing like anything louis louis 16 was doing nothing he was only doing for his own will okay he was doing nothing for the people he was charging lot of tax the society was not equally decided the estate third people that is the poor middle class will have to pay the tax other people will not have to so that is the reason that people got angry and finally they okay got uh, got revolution so finally which groups of french society benefited from the revolution okay especially and which groups were forced to relinquish power basically the poor middle class they got more rights now and they got rights equal rights now okay and finally these people aristocracy or those who are clergy okay and those who are noble they they have to surrender their power describe the legacy of the french revolution you know the word during 19th and 20th century what was a legacy india also india also learned three things from france first is liberty second is rights then next one is freedom 
liberty also means freedom but it its meaning is okay clear liberty means complete liberty okay clear its meaning is more broad okay so liberty freedom and equal rights these are the things we have developed from france and that is a legacy legacy means what we have developed what we have got it from them that is called legacy okay drop a list of democratic right we enjoy today whose origin could be traced with the french revolution obviously india has taken most of the things from french revolution like we have taken in our constitution freedom okay that is right to freedom okay there are six fundamental rights right so one right to freedom right to equality okay equality before law these are all the rights which we have taken okay from the French Revolution. Even America also had taken rights, okay, from uh, all ideas of rights from that of France. Okay, then would you agree with the view that the message of universal right wo was behest with contradiction? Yeah, earlier they used to think that universal rights, rights earlier what it shows, it shows only rights of men and women. But it is not just rights of men and women. It is rights of every citizen. Okay, and earlier the women were not given rights. So this statement is right that we agree the view that the message of universal right was be what beset with contradiction. Would you would you explain the rise of Napoleon? Obviously, Napoleon was a French emperor because he was the one who actually given all the rights to the French people. But what he did, he did not give any rights okay, to women. And what negative thing he did, he did not even thought about the women and he did not even thought about the slaves. Okay, again, he started slavery system. Okay, and he tried to capture many different different European countries and he wanted to mix it in France. So that was a thing which he did. Although France, France okay, was developed very well, okay, and the all ideas of freedom and everything developed, okay, during the Napoleon's era. Okay, so that's all, dear children. I hope you all have understood. So try to do question answers, write down your question answers in social science copy. That's all. I hope you have all have enjoyed this lesson. Thank you so much.